Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's Wednesday, November the 22nd, and I hope your day is blessed. Well, tomorrow, of course, is Thanksgiving, a day on which we pause to thank God for the many blessings that God bestows upon us. I read a story uh, that apparently originated with Greg Anderson about a man whose wife had left him, and he was severely depressed as a result. He uh, had lost faith apparently in himself and questioned his faith in God even, and he had little or no joy in living. Well, one day he was evidently at a, a restaurant or a diner, and he was hunched over the counter just stirring uh, his cup of coffee in front of him, and again, very, very distraught. And uh, in one of the booths nearby, he overheard a conversation between a mother and her young daughter. And as the food was being served, uh, the daughter very loudly uh, said to her mother, Mama, why don't we say our prayers here? The waitress, who had just given the food to <clears throat> the mother and her daughter, um, said, Well, sure, honey, we pray here. Will you say the prayer for us? And then the waitress apparently turned and looked to everyone else in the, in the restaurant or the diner and uh, invited them to bow their heads. Well, every day, evidently everybody responded. And the little girl then bowed her head, folded her hands, and prayed, God is great, God is good, and we thank him for our food. Amen. Well, evidently that prayer changed everything in that diner including the man who had been um, severely depressed. He um, was just so struck and, in fact, said later, all of a sudden, my whole frame of mind started to improve. From that little girl's example, I started to thank God for all that I did have and stop majoring in all that I didn't have. I started to be grateful. Gratitude is a powerful, powerful thing. And so important for our well-being. In First Thessalonians chapter 5, uh, we read these words. Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Life can be difficult, and often is. Um, I'm acutely aware of um, the difficulties that many in our church family are experiencing right now. But I was reading also um, something written by Andy Stanton Henry, who says, the practice of gratitude changes the way we view our community and the wider world. Indeed, we don't just say grace, we learn to see grace. And I think this is important because uh, an attitude of gratitude, as they say, causes us to identify the many blessings around us much better than when we are focused on the things that we are struggling with, the difficulties of life. Researcher Robert Emmons, according to the same article by Stanton Henry, says the following. In the face of demoralization, gratitude has the power to heal. In the face of brokenness, gratitude has the power to energize. In the face of despair, gratitude has the power to bring hope. My prayer for you tomorrow and each and every day, and this day included is that gratitude will indeed fill your heart and your mind and cause you to see and appreciate how blessed we are by God above. May God bless you this and every day. Amen.